four, three, two, one. It did something strange in your neighborhood. Mm -mm. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters. <laughs> 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 I'm scared no ghost. Oh, oh. all right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome My back, guys. It was all in there. It was all in there. Welcome back. Welcome back. We hey, missed y'all. Y'all missed them? Yeah. You did? The people. This the, is my the, camera. The people. Yes. Well, hello, world. It's your girl, Tanique. Yeah. Hello, world. It's your girl, Nicole. Why she had to say what I said? But go ahead. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy, executive producer. Oh, shit. Um, because <laughs> I was just I was just jacking I was that's why what else um, what's my name Billy what's my name guy. oh yeah aka Snizzy because I be looking like a what Snizzy a looking snack. like a snack and you been watching the episode <laughs> you been watching the episode well we're here so yes. we have no joke and Nicole is promoting herself to be vice president I so am congratulations thank you it's an honor to be here and like accept that <laughs> <laughs> you're here oh I can't say you're here every week but now you're here no, um, <laughs> so what's up? What y'all been up to? Nothing. I'm just getting ready for this trip. Um, that's it. Getting ready for this trip. I got a lot more trips coming. Clap your hands if you're going to Hawaii. <laughs> Bitch clapping. Hello. Bitch clapping. I ain't fucking going to Hawaii. Yes, wow. No, I'm not. Because she didn't get. Because I got a regular job. It's in the summertime before school. No, I still work in the summer. I have toddlers. It's like the break where there's no. Okay, so excuses. <laughs> is that what I'm hearing? Is yeah. that what I'm saying? Is that what well, I'm doing? Anyway, start your Nicole, money now. what you been up to? Nothing. Just school and work. Work and school. Podcast. We've been here. We've been here for a little. We've been here. A lot. Every, and we're here. In every other day. Weekend. It's Sunday. Um, you know, just podcasting. Just being an adult. Mm. It's not easy. Adulting is not fun. It's not fun. But it's not for everyone either. Well, What's I've been up to work. We had parent-teacher conferences on Friday. Oh, you were stressed. Yes, you, I remember you said that. It was, it was cool. Was I only bad. had, it was one parent. She be doing the most sometimes, but she was all right. She you, she nice to me. She be funny with the other teachers. Huh? Oh. How you maintain your composure for that? Um, It's a lot of patience. See, mm -hmm. I have patience for children. I don't have patience for adults. Mm. Cause you're an adult and you know better. You should know better. Not that you know better. You, you should right. Know better. You should know you better. Grown but ass people walk a one and or better. two year old, they don't understand everything. So course, I have that different type of patience. But she be okay with me. She just be funny with the other teachers. She I had a client take his eyeball out. Wait, no. Why are you lying? <laughs> I'm dead serious. I had a client take his glass eye out. <laughs> And put it on the table it was during, and yeah, during groups, right? So I do groups, so I he had said, to you take it out. See a trick. And I was like, "Mister, <laughs> this is not show and tell. Put it back." Clap your hands, clap your hands if you believe it. I'm dead serious. All right, bitch. <laughs> I believe clap it. Clap your hands for the cabaret. Because I told, because I told you, <laughs> I told you this before we got here, right? For the what? Uh, Whatever. For the what? Clap, clap your hands. Capitalization. Shut the fuck up. Yo, how do you put your eyeball out and put it on the table? Now your eye is infected. <laughs> it's COVID going around. Your eyeball got dust. COVID. <laughs> Bitch, you work at silence all day. I work with mentally health people. Your they eye take their to eyes a out. Socket. No, bitch, he has no eye. Therefore, he took it out. Oh. No, no, no. He this is he has a fake eye. He has a prosthetic a eye. Yeah. Oh, you didn't no, say that. No, it is possible, right? No, I believe you. No, okay. I'm saying her. Right, he has a prosthetic eye. Eyes. So he took his prosthetic eye out to show us. He's, He's also off. Yeah, he was showing off. He's a he new said, client at my job. I got money. You know a lot of people can't afford glasses. And then eyes. I said glass, right? So he had a glass you said eye. He so. <laughs> So I bad. see a lot, of, and but it, you it's gotta okay. be clear. You said I, so you you, got, you didn't say prosthetic. All right, so we just going. But you gonna stop making it seem like I'm a liar? Cause I don't lie. Going in about this eye, just anyways, eye, not a real eye. It wasn't a yeah, it wasn't a real eye. I'm just you saying. You guys want to do the words of affirmation? Do we not this time? I don't know. I feel attacked. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do it. Do it, girl. Do it. I am <laughs> a strong person, and I'm always aware of this. I will always choose to walk in confidence. Amen. Mm. Cause my Even mother told me, think I'm lying. you gotta be confident. You gotta believe in yourself. I gotta tell the story real confidently. Fuck all y'all, not y'all, but I'm you just saying. You gotta tell the story more clear. I should have been clear about it. Moving on. Right. So if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you couldn't tell from um, our song, 
Which one? We, well, we just saw we saw Ghostbusters. Oh, Ghostbusters. Oh, yes, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> I thought we were saying, why are you no, always lying? lying. <laughs> why the fuck you lying? And if you don't like me today? Mm, oh, I'm my good. God. Okay. <laughs> Stop fucking lying. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah. We're going to be discussing a ghosting. Have you guys been? A ghosting? Ghost? We're going to be discussing a ghosting. Like, um, uh. Who said it? No, you said <laughs> a ghosting. <laughs> so let me, you're basically saying ghosting. We're discussing ghosting. ghosting. We're, yeah, like, today, yeah, yeah, being annoying. But yes, we're discussing ghosting. Ooh. Okay. All right. I don't think I've really been ghosted. And if I've been ghosted, I must have. What? What? Now, some may say I may be dramatic. I may slide down walls. <laughs> yeah. I may get. <laughs> but. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, I don't really get ghosted, but I get a Houdini. Whoa, that's <laughs> that's worse though. <laughs> that's worse than ghosting, like, right? Houdini. <laughs> ghosted <laughs> is you're not seeing no more. Houdini is I disappear, but I'm coming no, back. N- um, oh. I guess ghosting is actually it's the act of disappearing from contact with someone. So you just y'all be like texting, and all of a sudden you just don't hear from the person anymore. Oh no. I don't like that. I don't like that either. No, no. I have I been ghosted. I just feel like the other day somebody just blocked me, and I was like, okay, what the fuck I did to you? Like there was no reason. Like, but, oh, that's ghosted. Okay, that's cool. Ghosted. <laughs> he just blocked. Like one morning, I woke up and I went, went to write to him, and I was like, hey, good morning. He was like, ghosted, and I was like, blocked. And I was like, what was your I, conversation before that? I don't know. The conversation was smooth. Like the conversation was good night, good night. Like the conversation you know right now is what we <laughs> eating night, after this. Night. My stomach yeah. said, rah, She said, bitch, rah. bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been ghosted before. Tell me the story. Yeah, I tell the story time. I don't like it. I don't remember. Like it was more like I like you. We like each other. This is going great. We're hanging out. You're staying at my house. We go for dinner. We go on little trips. Yeah, yeah, like you was at my house all the time. And then like, (laughs) tell me more. Tell me more. (laughs) We ain't put up a fight. That's Greece, y'all. Yeah, took it way back. And then (laughs) Uh so like that, I guess. (laughs) Oh, you knew it. You knew it. (laughs) So that happened, and then like after a while, like the communication started, like you know, fading a little. And then he stopped coming around as much. And then after a while, I just didn't hear from him anymore. Yep. And I that's was just like, thing? Yep. yes. That's how, that's, why you that's think it. he? Why you think he disappeared? I don't know. And that's the. I, I hate know. the why. I think ooh, maybe because like it. What I did start talking about us being a little bit more serious. Because I'm like, you come mm-hmm. here, you be over here all the time. You be all on my ass. <laughs> um, like you. Take me to work. You pick me up from work. That commitment was I need scared. money. You give me scared. money. Mm-hmm. You acting like my man already. Like, what's the problem with just... Because and... niggas like acting like our man without having a title. Absolutely. This nigga just took my garbage out this morning. Absolutely. Just took the whole garbage out without me asking. <laughs> you want to move in, nigga? So, <laughs> yeah, that that. She probably happened. said that, too. <laughs> and it <laughs> hurt my feelings. I was sad. No, I'm never really like been sorry to hear that you went through that because that's just yeah, that's just like, not that hurt. Cause you yeah, cause you had this illusion of like, all right, this is going good and shit. Like, what's going on? Like, yeah, I get you. I yeah, I never really think I experienced ghosting. If I stop talking you, to somebody, it's for like a. Have reason. you ghosted somebody though? Um, <laughs> the audience. Yeah, they they acting up. <laughs> Shout out to the. Audience. Have I ever ghosted anybody? Mm, no, because um, one, if I'm entertaining you or talking to you, I give it my all, so I'm not gonna just like waste mm-hmm. my time. And then unfortunately, it goes back to our attachment issues. No, you gotta stop doing that. We, <laughs> I'm working on it on therapy. No, but we have it. Don't put me in this. Still got it. We still got it. Still right. Got it, so you're not um, out, nigga. You ain't gotta point really, it out. Every I, I don't really entertain the situation if I don't believe in the situation. <laughs> so you ain't know we we made words up on the twenty five and over. The situation, you. The situation, mm-hmm. like that means situation. We don't speak Spanish, but we know. Bro. Bitch. Yeah. Porque yo hablo español. All right. <laughs> yeah. Como se dice and there she go. And there she go. But, um, yeah. So just back to what I was saying. I just don't really think I really been. A ghostbuster or a ghost? I also feel like, what's the difference between just things phasing out? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the... 
I've been in situations where I was talking to a nigga every day, all day, okay, cool. And it was just like something threw me off and like we just phased out. You know what I'm saying? Like the conversations became less and less and the communication became less and less. And I think that between both of us, it was just understood. But so, that's different. That's not I'm not going to That's just, yeah, I just, yeah. Yeah, that nigga blocked me like, the other day. I was you hurt. You talking to somebody and everything is going well and then all of a sudden you just don't like they just don't respond back to you anymore. And now you're sending like two double texts. Yeah, you're like, like you're okay, right. And right. you don't hear nothing oh, okay, from okay, the person. Okay. No. Well, that shit hurts because I want to know what I did to you. Like, right. What's going Audience, on? Audience, maybe you could give us content. Let's squeeze here and tell us your ghosting story. <laughs> you, had, you had a lot to say the last couple of episodes. Come on. No, no, he. Yeah, that's not, what I was not yet. <laughs> what? So share it. Yeah, why did share you your story? The share Come your on. story. Time's running out. <coughs> Bitch, yeah. you look good. I'm Come a, on, I'm own a serial it. ghoster. I ain't gonna lie. Right. What happened? Will? I'm a serial ghoster. You a serial wow. ghoster? I knew it. I why? felt it. I'm, I'm felt a serial. It. I'm a serial ghoster for sure. Why? Why you would you do that? Um. It's so too this many is an old former co-host, um, Gabby. Hey everybody. She was here season one, and <laughs> so Gabby. Tell us your ghosting experience. Um, I must confess. <laughs> Not Britney Spears. I am the fucking ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Casper. Ah, kick this bitch off. Um, <laughs> so she did this. She hurt our feelings. Hello, I've ghosted Kat. people because, um, like, people might have came back in my life, and now you got to go. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. mm-hmm. I like that one. Mm-hmm. Like you know. I ain't just, I'm just not feeling you. Like now, you really mm. just gotta go. Mm-hmm. The time mm-hmm. is over. Right, time um, is over. The time is over. I don't know. Like when I was young, like younger than I am now, 27. You know, who's 25? I want to quit. All right, girl. Um, <laughs> she wanted to promote it. I don't know. Like I just, once I get tired of you, or like I'm just turned off by you, or like it's just like. Whoosh, in my fucking cape. Bye, Casper. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she does have a point. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Casper. She does but- have a point. Like, if you are talking to someone and then the main thing come back, you will say, all right, whew, got a blast. So- I, 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 I hit the Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hit the Jimmy Neutron and got but, several niggas. Well, yo, next month, well, you're going to be sitting on these couches with us. All right? Um, but tell us about your serial ghosterization. You know, first of all, I think ghosting is a very important skill when you're out in the game and you're dating and you're having fun. Important? It's very important because it's like, (laughs) what do you, what do you, uh, bro, imagine a situation with everybody who does not have the same level of significance in your life. It's like, what we doing here? We're done. (laughs) Imagine you just coming up to them and let them know like, oh, this chapter's closed now. You know what I mean? It's like, no, it's way easier to let there not be a reason at all. There's no reason. It just, technically, we just haven't spoken in a while. Right, right, right. Technically. Unless you ask me. So my thing is, unless you ask me, like, unless a nigga be like, oh, so what happened? You know, you've been gone for, like, three weeks. Yeah. I will explain to you. I'll be like, you know what? I'm not going to lie That's to you. That's not ghosting. The feeling I think the ghosting energy. keeps the door open, too. No. Right. It leaves the... It's just very much cut off even when you reach out to them they don't respond back to you at all like is that they, ghosting that's yes the that's cutting you off no but i didn't do anything to you for you to cut me off but i'm saying like if you reach out to that person and they just don't hit you back at all that's, that's ghosting if i'm dating is, kind of if i'm dating right. you and we're in a a, a, we not a committed you. relationship but if I'm, <laughs> if I'm dating you and we're we're moving along we're hanging out all the time we're talking all the time and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you just Stop talking to me. Mm-hmm. That's ghosting, and no, and not, and it's not like two weeks later, three weeks later, I hit you up and then you finally hit me back. No, it's just literally cold just turkey. Cut off. That's, that's it. Hurt. No, but, that's, but not even that. Too. Like I've, that ghosting hurt. has its levels because there's yeah, people no that ghosted and left the door open. But that's yeah. not ghosting. Then I know so it, it is, but it is. Now, yes, it is. No, it is. It's not. It is. It's not though. It's you literally stop all type of contact from person. 
I think that's the process of ghosting, though. No. I think it, I think it initially starts off as like communication becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. So because your whole plan, the whole thing about ghosting is you're not adult enough to tell you that I don't want to fuck with you no more. Right. So right. the whole thing is like a that's little the bit, problem. the little yeah. bit at a time until it's off. So by the time they're not responding at all. It, that was a leader, probably. That's true. You it didn't just got, happen tomorrow. You should have read the room. You should have read the room. <laughs> Progressive <laughs> ghosting. <laughs> yeah. So that, like I said, there's levels to ghosting. Levels, there is levels yeah. to ghosting. There's progressional ghosting where you're like, hey, you're same, like, y'all. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All, then, that's all fucked up shit. With y'all, <laughs> no matter what, right? I feel like that. Well, bad. I think, um, if you're just gonna, sh if we're building something and mm -hmm. we're like, we're going out on dates and having fun and you just cut me off, mm -hmm. that shit would eat me to the core because yeah. it would affect your. Um, Key word though, B are we building something? Mm. But that's the problem. Are so we, we building might. something? Let's bring it back. Let's bring mm -hmm. it back. That's the so question. Let's talk about some of the effects of ghosting are. Uh huh. Like Bilal just said, how internally you would internalize what just happened. Because yes. in your head, you're like, what the fuck is going on? What did I do? Why is this person not texting me back? Why, Why me? are they not calling me back? Why mm -hmm. me? Yes. Because yeah, it is that you are seeking validation and not seeking validation, but it's like, am I not good enough? Right, right. What did I do wrong? What did mm -hmm. I say wrong? Mm -hmm. sure. And the, if you're a ghoster, you need to grow the... F Sorry, Wolf. Grow it's up. Okay. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not ghost anyone. No, no. Okay. Yeah, oh, he said not no more. Okay, not no more. All right. Okay. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> but if you are ghosting, grow up because like yeah, just communicate. So because you hurt people, hurt people. Right. And you could damage someone that could damage another person. Not knowing. Now we're just passing on the damage. Mm -hmm. Bro, that's everybody in this room has that ghosted that somebody. But that's though. one of the effects also. It could you know what I mean? future relationships for that person that right. was ghosted we've all ghosted people though all of us let's let's cut all the hierarchy of it so. though let's, nah, yes nah. you have you just don't know we've it all speak for people. yourself wolf come on <laughs> come on if I you, think if you got have. a high body count you've ghosted people oh, God. i heard yeah. attacked Anyway, I say, if you have one, you definitely ghost the people because you got that's to to why, get to that point. Why, that's our full no, full see, host. I guess don't you my interpretation it. was way different because I'm thinking of people that you you were in communication with this person constantly. Yeah. But if you have a high body count, chances are you've had one night stands a majority of times, and mm -mm. you not you weren't talking to that person you know in the beginning I don't anyway, know what type of I or to. you wasn't planning on after. <laughs> yeah, I'm never, that don't really I never, I've never had, had a one night stand, stand before. I you never had a one night stand. <laughs> you gotta go outside. I never. I'll be had outside. A, I just never. You had a one night stand before? Never. I never had a one night. Never stand Never had one. Like I That's keep people in my life type shit. Yeah. No, he wanted to stay. Like nigga, I I tried to do the one night stand thing and we were and i met him at a club and blah, blah blah and we went back home and then like he just stayed around for like six months i was like this is not what <laughs> we wanted to be doing so i never had a one night stand and after that i didn't try it because i was scared that the nigga was gonna stay around <laughs> for six more months i so, just think um yeah back to you were saying one night stand uh, i don't even know what i'm saying right now all right <laughs> <laughs> Ghosting is crazy. But, Ghosting um, is crazy. Yeah. I don't, I'm just trying to think, like, ghosted, like, I don't, it's hard. I just ghosted somebody just right never now. And that's crazy. Experience that. Maybe um, I'm really trying to think. Maybe I should talk to you. Somebody. know when Jimmy Neutron, when he was thinking his <laughs> brain was going like this? I told that's you, my Jimmy's brain is. My think about a person that liked you more than you liked them. That's a good hint. Yeah. Which one was it? I mean, I guess I did that, but they have no significance in my life. Yeah. That's why they got ghosted. But we never built ghosting. To me, it's ghosting is when you're building something and then you're saying, "All right, boom, something happened." No, nah, it's that ghosting is when the other person likes you more than you like them. So they're the person that's confused. They're like, "What happened?" You know what I mean? Wow. So perfect you, example. Is gaslighting. It can be. It can be. So let me give you an example real quick, right? So two, I was to talking to two guys, right? And then um, one was like giving me. Um, Damn, what's the word? He was applying pressure, but not really. And then the other one was up, applying pressure. Absolutely, right? So the time comes, I'm hanging. This one was like, I'm up, apply pressure. We're going to, you know, we're going to do what we're going to do. I said, okay, cool. And then the other one hits me up and he's like, oh, I want to hang out. And I'm like, oh, I'll text you later. Like, I ghosted him. I haven't spoken to him in like three, four days. And it's because of the fact that, like, I just felt like, apply that pressure, sir. And it won't be no issue, like, no reason why I'm, like, choosing between two guys, mm -hmm. you know? 
but it's un it's mm -hmm. I think he knows it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Without me telling him, I think the yeah. other guy knows that. Yeah, he know. Right. He knows that the reason why I'm not texting you is because of the fact that you've done tried twice to hang out with me and it doesn't work out on your end. So you like I don't need right. to tell you that shit, right? I don't need to text you and be like, nigga, this ain't working out because so you're that, not the prime is pressure. That ghosting or holding you accountable? That's ghosting. That's ghosting. By, byproduct of holding you accountable. Who's who's holding who accountable? Me? You holding him accountable. Him accountable. Oh, I'm holding him accountable. Like he should hold himself accountable not, too, though. Right, this, right. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Billy. <laughs> um, but my real name is Bilal. And another boy named Bilal tried to talk to me. And For real? Yeah. That's so... That gotta be weird. What you yeah, mean? But I only liked it because Rihanna spoke to him. And she said, she said, happy birthday, Bilal. So I went to edit that clip and say... Girl, shut up. <laughs> anyways, anyways, because I can't bump coochie um, with a girl named Nicole. With that, uh huh? <laughs> I can't bump coochie with a girl named Nicole. I but haven't met anybody. I kind of like Esther's trying him? to get to no. know me. Like, you know, when you don't like somebody. First of all, I don't. If you like try to talk to me, I don't want someone who's like too nice. Like, ew, what's that? Like, you gotta have. <laughs> let's just <laughs> wait. <laughs> let's just. All right, she's doing that because long story short, <laughs> we, was in, we went out to eat the other day and there was a brooch um, on the table. Mm -hmm. It was a. Oh my God. So we went out to eat the other day and I went to the bath. Um, me and Shantae Shantae went to the bathroom, but I see Bree and everybody standing up. So I come back and I'm like, um, what's the musical chairs about? So nobody <laughs> wants to tell me. For some reason, they think I'm dramatic. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, so I'm like, somebody spilled something. They looking at me like this. <laughs> I said, okay. Um, did I said, oh yeah, Bree must have spilled something. Mm, mm, mm. So I don't know how it came out, but um, somebody was like, there was a roach on the table. So yeah, I ain't leave. This is before I got there, right? So now here come here come Nicole. <laughs> here comes Nicole, and I said, you know Nicole's dramatic. Don't tell her there's a roach on the table. Right. There was a roach on the table. They was like, oh, that's crazy. We didn't want to tell you there's a roach on the table. <laughs> so Nicole's coming. Nicole came and she sat down, and somehow the word roach came up, and Nicole goes. <laughs> <laughs> like, every time we said the word roach, she kept on fucking jumping. The whole night. Mind you, so now, she, we go, after the roach situation, she goes to the fucking bathroom and see the roach on the fucking, thank you, see the fucking roach. There on was the a fucking... roach on the on the mirror of the bathroom. Like, you know, sometimes there's a mirror before you get to the, there was a roach there, like a dried up roach. Oh, I said, ah! Oh, ah! OD. And OD. Then she comes back, and I'm like, Where okay. Where was that at? Um, Ooh, I don't want to do that. A vintage that. roach. No, we're not going to do that to them. Roach. It was a vintage, vintage roach. roach. That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Vintage but what roach. gets me upset about you is that I don't know why we paid because... No, he said I took money off. And then Did I he? look, he took $12 off. Oh, no. oh, okay. That's how long the roach been there. 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he gave us free shots. <laughs> he fucking, he fucking took off every year. That fucking bottle was there. He took off 12 no, years of slaves. That reminds me when we went to Miami. I'm and getting, then I'm getting he, canceled. Yeah, we was there with Gabby. <laughs> and then fucking Gabby, um, the guy, something happened in the hotel and everybody was pissed off. And the guy told Gabby, I'm sorry about that, ma'am. And here goes Gabby. No, I'm sorry. I stayed here. <laughs> 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 One thing about... <laughs> Yeah. Listen, but one thing about one of our old, um, one of our friends, one thing about Taylor, okay. Taylor gonna go to a place and she don't like it. She gonna send the food back and she gonna ask them for a refund. That's Taylor it. was doing that one, on vacation every day, I'm okay? Like and it wasn't because she was like she she just she generally felt like this is not equivalent to my liking. And he needs to go back. Sure, and right, I told right. them, I was like, but we going to do this every time we go out? <laughs> and that's she was like, do. if it needs to be done. And we need to ghost the bill. <laughs> go, ghost, the ghost the bill. What you say? Ghost the bill. Sometimes you got to walk out. Sometimes you got to ghost the bill, man. Sometimes you got to ghost the bill. Sometimes you got to walk out. My stomach is ghost. It's going to the food. You stupid. It's the food. But yeah, um, what else with ghosting? Damn, but that's fucked up because way. now I'm thinking about it. Like, there's been some times that I, I've I've held myself accountable. I'm a, I'm a person that holds myself accountable. And I have texted the person. And I have told them, like, you know what? To be honest, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. So before I ghost you, mm -hmm. I just need you to know this. That's dope. Right, so I have been in that predicament where I have told men that because I don't, yeah, the nice, I just don't want to feel like now you texted me, you texted me a week later and I know I'm not going to respond, you know, and I don't want you to put that effort in it because a lot of people don't understand sometimes a simple high, like me exchanging a high, that's a lot of energy. I picked up my phone, I went I went down to Tanique, yeah. I, I put, hey, that's a lot of energy. I'm thinking about you. You get what I'm saying? Like, you crossed my mind. So I said hello. I don't want you to use that energy on me when I know I'm not going to text you back. 
So, like, I'm going to tell you now so you can probably text somebody else. So I, I think that's fair. That makes sense. I, 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 I have posted. I just recently ghosted somebody. Did you now? No. Not you playing Vic. Well, that's the Tories. I'm not playing, playing Vic, though. What are you talking about? I ghosted him because. Uh-huh, and it. now she has a reason. Yeah, no, well, now she has a reason. Reasons. There are reasons. So you did something to someone that you didn't like done to you? Well, we wasn't building anything. I wasn't uh, hanging out with him every go. day. He wasn't staying at my house. I don't play. He wasn't going out with dinner. Double, 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 double Money wasn't being spit on double me. Double mantra? What? Was it before or after the first ghost? No. Wait. What? <laughs> no. Was it after she the ghost? Did... No, no. This was recently. Oh, so you so ghosted? After, the ghost, after you got ghosted. I got ghosted a long time ago. Oh. That was like three, four years She learned how to ghost, pretty much. Not really, because this particular person, me didn't... I wasn't going on our dates with him. We never chilled or anything. We didn't do anything. We literally was just texting each other back and forth. Yeah. And after a while, this was a conversation wasn't going where it needed to go. And you got blocked. So what I learned Oh, he got was, blocked. It's like Damn. a number one ghost right there. The right. block. Yo, block is the ghost king and queen. Like, So why couldn't you say, When that hey, shit go green? This is my that shit hurt my feelings. Because I said that already and... You continue. Then we kind of like tried, like we did a restart and it still was not, you know, fine. You said on the show, can we go there? Toodles. Who, me? Mm -hmm. You just said a few minutes ago. About my ex-husband? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You said, um, I feel like Oprah. <laughs> can, can we go on there? On the show that mm -hmm. your ex-husband ghosted you. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, he just packed up one time and left. Damn. And I haven't heard from him since. Damn. Mm-hmm. That was like a year and a half ago. You haven't heard from him since. Like the ex, we knew we were, we knew we were at that place where we were breaking up. Okay. Of course, so it wasn't like he packed up and was like, "I'm leaving." We knew that this was happening, but what I didn't know, like he left, he cut me off. Right, he cut me off. So. You didn't know he was leaving that day. No, I didn't know he was leaving that day. He just, so when you saw that he left that day, what was it like? What what, was, what the fuck was going through your head? No, I knew it was coming already. So it was just like, you know, I wasn't like, oh, don't leave, please. I wasn't like that. But I was just like, all right, the time has come. You know, a lot of people have asked me lately, like, why? Why was I so mature in that situation ship or in that situation? Like, mm -hmm. you have to understand when you phase out of something mm -hmm. or when you feel like you're no longer that person is no longer sufficient in your life mm -hmm. you have to agree with that you know what i'm saying like whether it's a marriage like you know i just thought i was at a place in my life where it was just like i want more and i'm not gonna beg anyone to give me more when i know that i can go out there and get more whether it be me giving myself that or another man giving myself that so i'm not gonna be confined it because we have this relationship on papers because and he also <laughs> wanted more so i'm not gonna be ever the type of person like that's unfair to stick around because we both was like, well, we're married, but uh, you know, Man. I want you know I want this and you don't want that's fucked up and that's yeah. not fair. People do that. Yeah, people do that. People yeah. will stay around my parents. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. they stayed around for a while because they had kids and stuff. And when I had these conversations with my mother, I'm like, but why did you stay around? Like, cause of the kids. Like, but that just made everyone miserable. Like everyone around you miserable. Mm -hmm. So that's what I wanted to say. You know, like you know, it's all about growth. Like yeah, it hurts and that's ultimate ghost and you would never imagine someone that you was just so close and intertwined with so it's like Bob you know but at the same time you have to like sit, sit there I'm a very optimistic person so I always see the cup half what is it half, half full. full instead of half empty so it's just like all right bro I knew I wasn't like happy like I knew I like to have fun and like I know that I want to have threesomes and shit and if my husband don't want to do that why the fuck am I married like yeah. Why the yeah. fuck am I married if you I feel like down the road man. I might cheat on you? <laughs> I might. All right, we have like two minutes left. I'm Let's bad. do a speed round of ghosting. Would, are you going to ghost or are you going to stay? <laughs> would you ghost if a guy told you, damn, no shot taking, I'm just, just came to my head. Mm -hmm. Would you ghost if a guy told you after six months he had four babies? <laughs> Um, adios, amigo. Okay. <laughs> okay, now. Nicole. I did it. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to ask you. I didn't know you did it, <laughs> it was but, me. Um, I was the ghost. Would you ghost if a guy, you didn't know where he was working, but you found out he was working at McDonald's overnight shift? Oh, I thought she was going to say he's a stripper. 
Damn. Ooh, that's a good one. That would have been a better one. Because I know like five episodes ago, I said I want a nigga with a job. <laughs> 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 Just have a job. Um, I wouldn't ghost per se, but I will have that conversation with you. <laughs> not a conversation with you. you give me a write up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These, uh, this is would not... you ghost him if he was a stripper? Would I ghost him if he was a stripper? No, because some stripper, sometimes strippers don't. They're not out there fucking. They're out there making money. Oh no no. no. Okay. No. Right. That's Relax. what you Relax. think, girl. Clap. No. That's what you Crowd think. participation. Clap if you're going to ghost somebody if you found that it was a stripper. But what if he's like literally generally going and like stripping? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just stripping and he's coming back home and he's. Why I gotta ghost you? That don't mean we getting married because you stripping. Right. Okay. Might be fun. Shit. Right. He might be on Nothing. some, like, you know, I'm literally I've been just around going... male strippers and they're very weird. Oh, yeah. Well. Oh, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't even be, be with that. Clap, would, would you <laughs> ghost somebody? They don't want me anyway. <laughs> Zach. Only. Zach. Only own one pair of sneakers. What? Thank you for telling us 25 minutes. Right? <laughs> I'm about to go stop Why you got here. one piece? Yeah, here. why? For real? Uh, yeah. White people do that all the time. They only have and one piece. That's why I'm not attracted to white people. Yeah. Oh. I would. I'm a Your feet stink. That's a good question because I had one pair of shoes for years. Your feet stink. Oh, oh, you see? I, know <laughs> your feet I knew you was going to be on my side. I, know I had one pair of shoes. You don't know his situation. Thank you. Thank you. That's, you don't the, know that's the situation I was living. I was living on a one shoe type of That's what I'm saying. I was saying it on some like, would you go somebody on some like one pair of sneakers type shit? What sneakers? What sneakers was they? They was like a pair of Nikes. Uh, gotcha. It was like Nike running shoes or whatever. Because cool. Wolf like helped me understand. Like, it, 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 all right, first of all, the situation. Everybody has a situation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But your personality got to outshine the shoes. The situation. <laughs> but what, you know, Caucasian people. You know, Caucasian <laughs> people that I have known. They own two pairs of sneakers. They own a winter yeah. pair of sneakers yeah. and they own a Wait, summer stash work? spring pair of sneakers. Yeah. So, because they don't want to spend money like us on uh, $200, $300 sneakers. They much yeah. rather put that somewhere else. Absolutely. So I know Caucasians right, right now. My, right. I have a friend that she owns two pairs of sneakers and one flats, flats for the summer. Yeah. Okay, so she well, owns two sneakers and one flats for the summer. Yeah. And ask her how her... Well, all of... Oh my God! How fan nice is that? Ask her how her fan is. I know we gotta are. end this, but I wanted somebody told me they're nanny or whatever, right? So they told me they're nanny, and I guess when females have their period, they have a pad or whatever. So they try to be respectful, nah, and they wrap the pad in, uh, <laughs> Not, in toilet paper, what else right? What are we gonna do? And they babysit for a white person, so they wrap the pad in the toilet mm -hmm. paper and they put the pad in the garbage so they wouldn't see the residue. The white ha household, the Caucasians, went in the garbage cans. Unravel the pad and yeah. put it back on the thing so because they, they don't believe in wasting toilet paper. No, that's a violation. That's a violation. And you, violation. Uh, and you, thank you for <laughs> tuning in to Twenty Five and Over Club. There's sure. some weird people out there. That's a violation. Make sure you like, and, comment, um, subscribe. That should be our next episode. Would you episode. quit? <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. Like that's weird. Absolutely. I don't want to. You first of you touching something that you shouldn't be touching. I'm not eating no food in your house. No, it's not about eating food. This is like something that you shouldn't Thank try. Thank you for tuning in. We're doing magic like spells and shit. Tell a friend, tell a friend, because we're here to stay. <laughs> Thank you so much, That's, everybody. I don't, I can't, I can't deal with the weird people. I'm hungry. Like so, I'm what's wrong with me too? What's wrong with owning one or two pairs of sneakers? I, you know, yeah. I mean, no, your personality. Don't, don't talk. You can't Sneak. talk. I washed them. I put them in. No, no, I put no, them no, in, no, a, no. in the washing machine. Don't try to argue That's with how you me mess up and try to come at me when you got one pair machine. of shoes. Like, don't be disrespectful right. with one pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah. Don't. don't worry, of course. Yeah. You know, be be humble about the situation. I'm not saying be broke. Play it's all broke. about how you carry it. You know yeah. what I mean? That's like imagine me like cheating a shorty. Like it's like, oh, you got like one dress. I can't fuck with you. You know what I mean? I wish I said this on camera. <laughs> but to me, you got to understand. It's, it's still, reco it's still recording. You, well, appreciate you more than these niggas with the 50 million. Hello. Yo, it's Hello, all about that's what's a up fact. It was up there. It's all about You're what's right. up in here. You can have all of this in more than one period. Nah, but this is going to get you more shoes, though. Yeah. You know, cause a, I know that. and that's Baby, you was nice to me last week. What's the good? Because what if the dude with one shoes is the one pair of shoes? He the most qualified nigga. Because it be niggas with six Jordans that cover the whole span of their they room. Mm. These niggas is trash. Yeah. Who said I want a nigga with 12 in Jordans? I know, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just saying. saying. That's what I said. <laughs> right, right, right. You wear, you wear the same shoes every day. Your feet are going to stay. Maybe not. They got you. He Bitch, I wear the same sneakers the every other day. That's how you mess up your shoes, putting them in the, in the wash. No, 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 no. He got to wash and dry. He clean his socks every day. He got clean socks, you know what I mean? Like, you know? still smell like 
three days ago. She was supposed to go to them. Smelled like three days ago. You want dumplings? But do you wear the same hair every single day? That's the point. Even my work shoes don't stink, and I wear them four days out the week. Four days out the week. Still giving them a break though. I had eight dollars for the dumplings. 